What's going on guys? Welcome back to my video. So today I want to go over how my 2024 Duramax towed. I know I made a video I believe either last week or the week before talking about how I was going to make a video towing and this weekend or yesterday I just went down to the Atlantic City truck meet. I ended up towing down my race truck, my 5,9,000 horsepower Cummins down with my 2024 Duramax and I kind of want to just clear up all the loose ends in the last few videos between the lower vans, flares, wheels and kind of just tie everything together first before we get into the full video. Now as you guys saw last week I took these off to trim them up you know kind of get a feel for how much turn raise I'm going to have but I decided to to order the full um, flares from GM directly they're going to be OEM paint matched but they do not sell this lower piece here. I got this dropped off at a local body shop they're going to get them sand it down and paint it as well as the lower valves. I took that off I'm going to get that painted this time around as well. I left this on just so it doesn't really look too non-complete. I know it looks like crap right now with that off but you got to do what you got to do. We got the wheels thrown on of course on all four corners of the truck now. And I know after reading the comments from last week, a lot of you guys did not like this setup, but it's my truck. I think it looks sick. And at the end of the day, you got to do what floats your boat. I absolutely love the way this looks. But the rear, getting back to the towing part, with GM, these trucks always sag bad when they tow. Now, I know I'm going to get some comments saying, oh, you're not loaded properly on the trailer and la, 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 la. I am. These trucks just love to sag the ultimate solution would be get some airbags, but I do not tow enough to justify getting airbags for the truck. But also, same flip of the coin, I did not touch anything with the keys yet. This is factory ride height. Obviously, we're way down. We got the truck on the back. But it does rub right here being concave on the cab a little bit just due to the, like I said, concave wheel series. And I'm just going to suck that up. I knew it might rub a little bit with these being wider. Have a ton of room up here. Once we get the flares cut, it'll be perfect. So that's kind of just tying the loose ends together from the last few videos. Now I want to get into the towing aspect of the truck. There are some few things that I loved. This truck towed absolutely great, and there's a few things that I really disliked. I want to hop into the truck real fast and talk about the things that I disliked, and we'll go over the whole, to the whole towing experience. But I just wanted to clear up a few loose ends from the last few videos between the wheels, getting everything there, and towing. So let's hop into the truck, and we'll go over everything. All right, so let's hop on in. These factory running boards in the 2024s are awesome. I know some of you guys, I believe they started this in 21 and 22, but me having a 20, I did not have these, and the door chime's different. Hey guys, you guys just heard right there, but let's start the truck up. And I'll go over a little bit of the towing stuff that I liked and that I didn't like. Let's turn my radio off so I don't get copy right here. But did you do lane change trailers on? Let's click all this off. I'm really out of fuel. That's one thing too about this truck that's kind of weird as you see. I'm um, down here. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Right here. The needles are kind of weird. It takes a little bit to get used to, but that little line right there kind of signals everything between your oil pressure and that. So when you kind of look down, it kind of takes a minute to kind of realize what's going on with that. It's still a little bit confusing. I'm kind of getting used to that. But Getting back to towing, with this new turbo on this truck, it towed absolutely great. It's, believe it or not, it's a world of difference towing with this new 24 versus my 2020. This truck towed 15 times better, believe it or not, than my 2020 truck did. I towed with that several times, and I wasn't really thinking that much is gonna change towing with this. But something, it has to be something with this new turbo on this truck. I'm really curious. I want to try to look up and research this turbo a lot more, but it's still so new. There's not really much information out there on them. But I want to try to search it a little bit more and see really what's different with it. But so far, it's making a world of difference with this truck between the low end torque, towing, everything. There's a huge difference with this turbocharger. But a few things that I really didn't like that's kind of unsafe at the same time is the trailer brake here. Nothing with the location is bad. It's awesome when you're towing that you can just reach right here, have your arm on your armrest and not even have to move versus reaching all the way out here. People hate this location, but naturally when a GM changes something, unless you use it firsthand, you're not really going to be able to say, you know, it's good or bad. I love the way this is right here. It worked absolutely great for me. But the one thing, here let me try to click this off up here, is that when I was driving, I was trying to increase the gain. So when I clicked it, for whatever reason, it was not popping up up here. So right now it's at seven. 
it's actually doing it again right now. So as you see, I'm clicking the button and it's not changing off seven. I have no idea what the heck is going on with it. It was glitching. I'm glad it's actually working or glitching on camera because as I was driving, it's doing the same thing. So after, you know, 15 minutes or whatever, it started working. But as you see, I'm clicking the button plus minus doing both and it's not changing off seven, which is kind of unsafe or not kind of unsafe. It is very unsafe when you're towing. So when I first got in, it was set at zero and I got the end of my street and I'm like trying to crank it up so my trailer brakes are working and I was like, what the heck, it's gonna be a long trip if it's not working. And I know I didn't really play around with it, but there's gotta be something up here in my dash here to mess with it. Let's see if I click here. Come on. See, it just totally glitches out and I tried on, and it's not the trailer. This trailer is brand new, it has nothing to do with that. Never had this issue until I got in this truck but there should be a settings page on here. I'm gonna try to mess with it a little bit more, but regardless, when you hit this button, it should adjust again. So right now it's not even popping up up there. Totally glitching out. That's one thing that I didn't really care for. Other than that, everything went great with the truck. I was gonna try to get some actual footage of it out on the road, but as you guys know, for one, if you're not driving a truck, you're gonna experience absolutely nothing. You gotta hop behind and wheel one of these to experience it firsthand for yourself. And B, it was four o'clock in the morning. It was just way too dark to film. I was just trying to get down to the show. But like I said, just personal experiences. Some of you guys have a 2024 and you tow with it. Leave me something down in the comments below. Let me know what you think if you ever towed with a 20 or a 20 to 23 truck versus a 24. I think it's a world of difference. You guys just have to experience it for yourself firsthand. We have 1300 miles on the truck now. So breaking it in proper a little with a little bit of towing. Okay, there's a screen in there. So now as you can see it's working. Before when I was hitting it, it wasn't. It should when I hit it here. Yeah, see how it pops up. So now it's working. But I don't get why it glitches like that. It should work 24 7 100 percent of the time. No idea why. I don't know if there's gonna be an up there's gotta be some type of update or something for this. But if anyone else has experienced this problem, please let me know because something definitely has to be done about that. But at the end of the day, that's kind of just my brief little overview of towing. Like I said, I was kind of blown away with how much improved it was over the 20s. But that's just one thing I couldn't stand right there. I know I kind of went on a little rant about that, but being a truck that's set up to tow heavy and that doesn't work, that's a major problem. So if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned until next week. Let me know what you guys want to see next with the 24. I have so much content coming with this truck. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.